in summary on Through the Medicine Cabinet by Dan Greenberg. One morning Zach was going to the bathroom to find his retainer. When he opened the medicine cabinet, a boy, a boy that looked just like me, like Zach. Zach asked himself, a boy that looked just like me? How could that be? Then he thought that Mrs. Teradash, Zach's neighbor had a grandson that looked just like me. So he got dressed and quietly snuck out of his apartment. When Mrs. Teradash answered the door she said hello, how can I help you? Zach asked can I look in your bathroom to see if my retainer is inside your bathroom? Mrs. Teradash said yes so Zach looked and did not find it. He said thank you Mrs. Teradash. He said and went back to his apartment but he looked in the cabinet the same boy was sticking out of the cabinet. Zeke tried to close the door but Zach stopped him by putting his arm in between the door and the wall. Zach grabbed Zeke's arm to try and stop him from closing the cabinet door. And then Zeke pulled Zach into his bathroom. Zeke said you have done it now. Zach said done what? Zeke said cross the parallel universe that's, that's what you've done. Zach asked what's a parallel universe? Zeke said keep it down. Please, Zeke, whom are you talking to? Myself. Zeke responded, Zeke, it's almost time to go to the New York Yankees training camp. The cab is coming at 8 o'clock. Do you have your retainer? His dad asked, Zeke started to panic, oh no, I've lost it again. Zeke, I'm coming in. His dad comes in and says, Zeke, why are you not in the shower? I'm resting, Zach said, Zeke, did you style your hair differently today? Yes, I did, sir, Zach said, then Zeke's dad asked, will you go to the dry cleaners and pick up my suit in? What dry cleaners would that be exactly? Zach said, the one across the street and down the block. He gave me a $20 bill and the slip, and then when I walked outside, everything was weird looking. When Zach finally got his suit, he was outside the usual billboard wasn't there. Zach went over to a manhole that a police officer was standing in front of the officer said to Zach you don't want to fall into New York would ya? Zach replied no sir I wouldn't like to, but in Zach's head the only place he really wanted to go was back to New York. Then he asked the officer will you help me find my apartment? Sure the officer said then Zach described Zeke's building oh I know the one the officer said then he directed Zach to Zach's apartment so he could continue to return home. A boy that looks just like me. How could that be? I was startled. I knocked over my retainer and fell into his bathroom. Then we both screamed and slammed our medicine cabinet's doors shut. What the heck is happening here? Very slowly I opened the door again. Nope. There was nobody on the other side. I pushed against the back of it. It didn't open. Very weird. So where is my retainer? I figured I'd better check out the apartment next door. An old lady named Mrs. Taradash is kind of cranky. I know she isn't too happy about the basketball hoop I have mounted to my wall. She's complained to my dad lots of times. When I slam dunk, she says it's like a 5.7 tremor on the Richter scale. But maybe Mrs. Taradash had a grandson. Maybe her grandson looked just like me. And maybe her medicine cabinet was hooked up to ours on the other side. I knew this explanation didn't make much sense, but it was all I could come up with. I got dressed, then I slipped quietly out of our apartment. I, Ryan Robertson, recommend the book, The Zack Files, Through the Medicine Cabinet, by Dan Greenberg. It had action, adventure, and a story that had me glued to the book, made me wonder if he'd make it back.